Good morning, good morning in the news this morning. This is the first time you're here. Welcome. We're in the middle of a glutes training, I would say educational, experiential exercise program. Sure, why not, what the hell. My name is Christine Cohen. I am a New York City based fitness specialist, registered dietitian, and glute sculptor extraordinaire. Today's video is all about lunges. And we're gonna cover a different, a few different types of lunges in this video. We're gonna cover the walking lunge. I like this one. It's one of my favorite glute isolators. And I'm gonna tell you why. It's really easy to mess this one up and to use and compensate the quad or I don't even know. I feel like I see people using their back in this exercise. It's crazy. It's crazy what people are doing with the walking lunge. But I'm gonna show you how to make it glute-tastic. The Bulgarian split squat, which is essentially a lunge with the back foot elevated onto a bench behind you. I like this one because it makes you get really low and you can really isolate, feeling the glute burn. And we're also gonna throw a step up, front and side step up into this mix because it is like a single side leg workout and you're really focusing on one glute at a time. So in essence, it's obviously not a lunge, but we're gonna stick with that single side leg training theme throughout this whole video. So you're getting three exercises in this video, which is actually, coincidentally, video number three. By the way, if you're not following me on YouTube, then you should, which means you should hit subscribe um, right there down in the description box. Yep, right this second now. Uh, I'll wait for you. Cool, thanks. And then if you're not following me on Instagram, I recommend that you shoot on over there after you watch this, of course. My Instagram is CC Nutrifit, and I just post more motivational stuff over there as well as lots of nutrition tips, some exercise and fitness stuff, as well as just photos of me and my cat, Knox. So if you're interested in any of that, head on over there as well. All right, without further ado, here are the exercises. The thing that transformed walking lunges into an awesome glute workout for me were one, the length of my stride, two, how low I got in the lunge, and three, how much I focused on pushing my hips forward. So hip mobility is huge in this exercise. If you don't have good hip mobility in your hip flexors, <clears throat> you won't be able to take a nice long stride. You won't be able to get low enough and you won't be able to push your hips forward. So you can see if your hip flexors are tight, your glutes won't fire. So let's break those down. Length of your stride. You need to take a large enough lunge step in order to get a full glute stretch in the front leg. The barbell should be directly over your hips and your back knee should be completely bent. You could see mine is almost at a 90 degree angle. Keep your chest and back upright and do not bend forward over your front leg. Next, what is quote unquote low enough? You need to get your front femur, your front quad, at least to parallel or below in order for your glutes to truly fire and get the maximum engagement. This is a combination of trust and flexibility. Trusting in your own body that if you get down that low, you'll be able to get back up again. And the flexibility in the back leg hip flexor to allow the stretch to get that low. All right, so you have a lot of hip mobility work to do, as I've said over and over in this glute series. And lastly, pushing your hips forward in the, throughout the lunge really, but especially in the deepest portion of your lunge. So you're allowing your front leg's glutes, in this case the left glute, to fire all the way from the bottom stretched position through to the top of the movement. All right, get ready. I'm about to throw some special effects action your way. So the key thing here in the step forward of the lunge, your front leg needs to be doing all of the lifting. That front leg's glute should engage from the bottom all the way through, up, 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 and step 
it is still engaging throughout that whole movement. That is why the walking lunge is amazing. You want to pretend like you don't even have a back leg in the lunge, okay? If your back foot is doing any of the pushing off, the pushing forward, no, you're doing it wrong. Can you guys tell I'm super passionate about the walking lunge or what? Yeah, a little bit, just a little. The Bulgarian split squat. All right, two key things. Again, the length of your stride. So it's gonna be really similar to how wide your lunge stance is. Um, you want that front leg to be able to get to parallel or lower. As you can see, the foot that's on the bench laces side down, also important to reduce the amount of tension on the back leg's knee. Also, it gives you some better leverage. You want to be pushing and doing all of the work with the front leg. So you want to resist the urge to push up with the back leg that's resting on the bench, okay? Also key. As you come down, you wanna find that nice sweet spot where your front leg glute is nice and stretched. When you hit that point, you wanna engage that glute from the bottom all the way up. As you can see, I'm not resting at the top. There is constant tension on my front leg. To keep the engagement out of your quad, I recommend keeping your body super upright, but allowing your hips to drive back a little bit. You need to be able to drive your hips back to engage your glutes. Also, I keep the weights directly next to my hips. They're not in front of me. So this allows the weight to stay right in line over my glute that I want to be doing the work. Sometimes what I'll see clients do is their back leg does not go back on that angle as you can see mine doing right now, it kind of goes forward so their lunge looks super cramped. And for me, this does not serve my Bulgarian split squat to um, train my glute. That makes it more quad dominant. It also makes it a lot more awkward for me. I think this is because I have good hip flexor mobility. I'm sorry to keep bringing that up. But if you find that your back knee is going forward or straight down and you can't get it to go back on this nice angle, um, then I would take some time to stretch your hip flexors a little bit more. Also to reduce your weight that you're using in this exercise until you can get this position. Um, and then I would recommend um, doing weight after that. Next one we have is a front step up. Clearly that's not me, get out of my video, dude. So I'm gonna talk about the front step up, but then I'm also gonna talk about the reverse lunge, which you would do stationary kind of similar to this movement, but your foot wouldn't be elevated on a step, it would just be on the floor. I find that doing this movement where I'm focusing on one side at a time, they're not walking lunges, they are single side stationary lunges that you're stepping back um, are amazing for glutes. But here we are doing it on a step, so let's talk about that. On single leg step ups, I don't know what a double leg step up would be, so ignore me. Um, you want to get super low. In this particular movement, you could see that I'm getting really low so that the bottom of my hamstring is touching the top of my calf. Taking a tip out of the lunge book, I am doing all the lifting with that front leg and I'm engaging my glute from the bottom all the way to the top. I am resisting the urge to push off my back foot at all. I pretend like I don't even have a back foot. I also don't just think about stepping up, I think about stepping up and forward. So I push my hips forward from about halfway mark through the rest of the movement to help me get to the top of the step. I'm not doing it here, but you can actually continue that thrust forward all the way through and squeeze your glutes hard at the very top of this movement when you're standing at the top of the step. Side step ups are really similar in concept. Make sure your entire foot is on the step. Get low enough when you come down so that the bottom of your hamstring is touching the top of your calf. Engage your glute from the bottom, follow through, press up and forward. In this one, you can drive your knee uh, that's on the step out a little bit more. Your knees definitely shouldn't be buckling inward um, and if they are, you should start with lighter weight. 
But no matter if you're using body weight, dumbbells, barbell, you want to drive the working legs knee out laterally to engage the entire side of your leg and the side of your glute, which is the gluteus medius. So we're working on building the glutes round as well here. Also, please comment down below with what you tried and what you liked and what worked for you and what didn't work for you. And I would be happy to message you personally and help you through it. Also, comment below with other exercises you would like me to make videos about and talk you through and break down for the glutes. Ready, set, go.